Anurag Kashyap's most ambitious project, Bombay Velvet, is so important for him that he doesn't want to go wrong with it at any point. And that has made him scratch his head more with every step that he is taking. We don't want you guys to be baffled, so we will clearly list out the string of confusions Mr. Kashyap is dealing with. Confusion number one, what to do with the old classic. Anurag has taken the rights of the old classic Jata Kahahe Diwane from the movie CID and his team is working on remixing the track. But he cannot decide if he should shoot the song with Ranbir and Anushka and keep it in the film or should use it just for promotions or should he use the track simply as the background score in the film. Spoiled for choice, is it? Confusion number two, Anushka solo or Ranbir Anushka duo. Maybe the songs are the root cause for Anurag's confusions. Yet another song which is giving him trouble is a song called Mohabat Buri Bimari. We have it that Anurag had shot this song only with Anushka, keeping Ranbir aside in Sri Lanka. The director was very confident about this one and the song was a part of the film. But unfortunately, when he saw the song on the edit table, it hadn't turned out the way he wanted. He got Ranbir and Anushka to shoot this song again in Mumbai. Whew. The song is finally the way Kashyap had imagined, but now he is again back to square one. He can't decide if this song should be a part of the film or just be used for promotions. Wow, Anurag, we had thought you are quite sorted, at least when it comes to filmmaking. Confusion number three, length of the movie. When Nai Nexi the show spoke to Anurag, he mentioned to us that the uncut version of Bombay Velvet is about 3 hours 23 minutes. But certainly he doesn't want his film to be this long, which leads to his next confusion. Again, which is song oriented. Confusion number 4. To keep Ravina or to do away with her? Ravina has shot two beautiful tracks for the film, but now that the length of the movie needs a trim, Anurag is contemplating to do away with these two songs. Wonder how Ravina will react to that. Poor Thing has just two songs in the entire film. Maybe Anurag has a way to not miff Ravina. The filmmaker has promised her that if he takes her out of the film, he will compensate her with another role in his upcoming film, which is ironically called Return Gift. We hope the Dev D director works something out because as of now, for him, Bombay Velvet hasn't been smooth. It's not only Anurag who is confused about his upcoming project. We have Ekta Kapoor too who is finding it difficult to zero down on her leading lady for Azar's biopic. Yes, we are again back with a new development on Mohammed Azaruddin's biopic. Looks like Emran Hashmi will be wandering alone finding his love interest in the movie. Because for the movie, Mr. Azaruddin, that is Emran, isn't able to find his Sangeeta Bijlani. Or should we say, Egda hasn't finalized on anyone yet. On Monday, we told you that Jacqueline Fernandez has given a look test for Sangeeta's character. And has the deal sealed in her favor? Well, not really. Recently, even Kriti Sanon gave a look test for the same. Looks like Egda isn't able to find a face that will justify the role of charming and beautiful Sangeeta. But another problem in this whole situation is that neither Jacqueline nor Kriti can give dates that match Egda's schedule. Egda wants to start the film by June and Jacqueline is tied up with her prior commitments and Kriti is also busy with Sing is Bling. But Kriti, why don't you sneak out for a bit? We know Sing is Bling is delayed to go on floors for now. Moving on, on one hand, where actors and filmmakers of our industry are confused, veteran filmmaker Subash Guy is all clear in his head. He will glorify the comeback of Sanjay Dutt and how, or at least that's what he plans to do. This was the movie which Sanjay got a huge leap in his career. Sanjay's negative character was applauded by the industry as well as the viewers. A Sanju fan will definitely know the importance of Kal Nayak in his life. And now guess what's the latest grapevine in the industry? Guy, the maker of Kal Nayak, wants to make Kal Nayak 2 with Dutt. 
But because we have a habit to confirm and then convey, 9X the show got in touch with Guy and asked him if this buzz was really true. This is necessary that I will make a Sanju with Sanju. Because Sanju is my Mukhtar's family. He is a family member. Now we know the mere thought of Kal Nayak 2 is kicking, but even though Guy has said that now it won't be that, he has ensured he will be one of the filmmakers who will make Sanju's comeback really a big one. This is the case that I will make Kal Nayak 2. It means that Sanjay will make such a film that will give him so much glory that Kal Nayak 1 gave him. Now that sounds like a promising quote. After all, Sanjay is one of the most loved actors of Bollywood, and so Kalnayak 2 or no Kalnayak 2, everyone would want only the best for him. Coming up, Shah Rukh Khan says he doesn't deserve awards for HNY. Varun Dawan with Arjun Kapoor in his tough time.